Welcome traders to this short video on the installation and setup of the Zone Trader Pro indicators. First to start with, you need to import the two files that you've been sent in the Tools Import Ninja Script add-on. Simply import each of these two files, the order flow file and the Zone Trader Pro NT8 setup file. And when you're done with that, go ahead and open a chart. First, we're going to want to choose a tick chart, and I would suggest 150 ticks. It'll be your option here to use tick replay. If you do, just know that you put a strain on your computer system when you're doing this. And if you're in the learning mode, that's fine. But if you're in the real-time mode, you probably want to have that unchecked. Uh, second, I would suggest doing a chart style of OHLC with black bars up and down. Say OK. And once your chart has loaded, you are going to place the indicators on the chart. I would suggest placing the ZigZag Zone Trader Pro. Zone Trader Pro the dollar sign tick, and the Zone Trader Pro bid ask oscillator. Say OK to all that. And because the tick replay is engaged, you're seeing the computer take a little bit while to think. And now we have a Zone Trader Pro chart. To go over the indicators themselves, the properties for ZigZag Zone Trader Pro you always want the deviation points to be 1.25 for the ES. And what that does is that gives you a zigzag of six ticks. So basically if you want a six tick zigzag, you subtract off one tick and that's how you get this number. There really is no other uh, setting on zigzag ZTP. For Zone Trader Pro, you can adjust the uh, font of what you're going to see there, and I have it set for 20. You have the option to plot the tick numbers. The zigzag ticks, again, this, is, this gives you the six tick zigzag, and you want one number down from the zigzag you want. So instead of putting a 1.25 in here, we want a, a 5 on this chart. The tick wiggle room is involving the red dot that you see on the screen and that red dot tells you when the dollar sign tick has been exceeded from the previous move by at least a certain number and in this case it's defaulted to 100. Um, you have the buy and sell filter. For the exhaustion trade, you can enable a sound alert and place the file name in the exhaustion trade early warning. Same thing with the tick filter. You can enable a sound alert and choose a file. Again, with the reversal trade, you can enable the reversal trade and you have two numbers that need to be put in here. Minimum distance from counter zone means the following. In order to get this reversal trade here, the market had to have traded within three ticks of this blue zone here. The second setting through the intermediate zone, which had already, which had also been set to three, means that the market had to trade at least three ticks through this intermediate zone as it did right here. It traded exactly three ticks. Again, you can enable a sound alert and a hypothetical stop loss. There is a pattern called the exhaustion trend, which when enabled is a trend trade basically that follows the exhaustion trade. It's really the first instance of the market trading back to the 
uh, intermediate zone after an exhaustion trade. And here is the exhaustion trend trade. Here we have the next setting is for the trend trade pattern itself. Once it's enabled, you have the ability to adjust the tick filter to show when the trade is going to show up. I have this set for 500 right here. And all that's going to do is make sure that all of the trend trades show up. However, if I put a zero in there, it's going to discriminate against uh, the trades giving you theoretically a higher quality of trend trade. What that means when a zero is placed in is that in order to get to that trade, you're going to need higher highs and lower highs if it is a long trade and lower lows and lower highs if it is a short trade. And here's a couple of real good examples to that where first the 400, the negative 439 is lower than the negative 321. The 220 is less than 425. On the second trade, we had a negative 723, which is lower than the previous low. And at the time of the trade, when the trade was given right here and the indicator stopped moving, the dollar sign tick was still lower than the 220 that had uh, been the previous high because nothing disappears from the zone trader pro chart the trend trade is left where it is on this bar right here that is the red tick filter dot indicating that at this point the tick was at least 100 ticks higher than the previous high of 220. for the exhaustion trade there's only a enable checkbox the same with the uh, tick divergence the tick divergence has a setting for ticks from counter zone, which means as the market approaches the tick divergence trade, it would be two ticks from that zone or this bar right here when you would start seeing the tick divergent pattern on the chart. If you wanted it at, if you put it at three ticks, the price would be displaying the pattern at a price of 27.17 even. And there's nothing else on the Zone Trader Pro uh, indicator that needs uh, adjusting. There is nothing that needs adjusting on the Zone Trader Pro dollar sign tick. For the zigzag uh, bid ask oscillator, you have two options. One is to use the ratio levels. If this box is checked, then it goes and it looks at the last five up and down uh, ratio levels. If the box is not checked, it looks at the last 15 bars. For the ES, if you're using the zigzag, you're going to want to use for deviation points 1.25. Now you can adjust the lower threshold and the upper threshold. What this does is when the percentage is between 50 and 55 percent, the chart is going to display a light green. When it's above 55% it's going to display a dark green and similar in reverse when it's between 50 and 45% you're going to see the light salmon color when it exceeds 55% you will change the color to a dark red and these are obviously something that you can play with and with the tick replay uh, function of the ninja trader 8 you can get a good idea of what you like to see on a chart and what you don't like to see on a chart. With the tick replay function, you can go back in history and see what you like or don't like. The other thing you can do is add a second indicator with different uh, settings, and I do this often. Instead of having 15, I'll put it at 10, so it'll give me a little bit of a faster time frame. And then I will also include the zigzag and the reason I want to include the zigzag is because that did an excellent job of showing when there was a deep V in the pattern signaling a reversal. In order to see that I'm going to check the use zigzag and in the third pane here is the the V that I'm looking for uh, both here here and 
on this bar right here. That's going to conclude this video on the setup of the Zone Trader Pro indicators. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to give me a call.